Okay, once you have your pinned insect collection, there's basically three things you need to protect it from. Uh, the first two are fairly simple. Uh, most insects have a real hard chitinous exoskeleton and they're very easy to preserve. All one needs to do is keep them dry. Uh, in a normal environment where you have an air-conditioned room, uh, your collection is, is going to be just perfectly safe. Uh, second is going to be uh, light. Insect collections uh, will degrade if exposed constantly to sources of light. The sunlight is the worst. Even uh, regular light inside of buildings can also be damaging. Most scientific collections are kept inside of uh, uh, the museum, the glass top museum drawers are kept inside of uh, uh, light tight cases, the cabinetry, or they're kept in closets or simply the boxes do not have glass lids on them. Finally, the last thing that insect collections need to be protected from are various museum pests and this poses a number of problems. The number one pest problem in the with dried insect collections are dermestid beetles. These are also sometimes called skin beetles. These beetles live in most uh, man-made buildings that are within a few years old. Uh, they normally feed on virtually any type of dried animal remains and that includes dried insect collections. Collections that are not kept in properly tight sealing boxes such as some of the lids we've discussed for museum drawers and Schmidt boxes are often attacked if they're not regularly checked. Unchecked infestations of dermestid beetles can totally destroy a collection, such as this example of a box of tiger beetles.